we've drawn a straight line uh, parallel to the sides of the fuselage and even with the outermost hole along the steering arm, which we've installed also. Uh, the hole starts at about an inch and five eighths back from the front of F1 and ends about two and three quarter inches back. At this point, we can take our drill and we're gonna drill a series of one eighth inch holes right along that line. And the holes are gonna form the slot through which our push rod, which will steer the airplane, is gonna fit. One more. Now we'll take our hobby knife and we'll square this up into a slot. In fact, there it goes. And hopefully the camera can pick it up. It's starting to look like a slot. We'll square that up a little bit with a straight edge a little later on. But we can move on to a couple other slots we'll have to cut through the side of the uh, fuselage at this point. If we go to the aft port portion here of the fuselage, you'll notice we've already cut a slot. Basically, we've reviewed the plan and picked the location carefully. And you'll see we've installed a blue Sullivan goldenrod outer tube through here. Uh, this is a method we're going to use to control the uh, airplane at this point. We've decided to use that in this model. And we'll flip it over. And on the other side, you'll see, again, according to plan, we've cut another slot and installed another goldenrod. Take a quick look inside. And you can see the goldenrods run from the tail of the plane up to the front. A little later on, we'll get into some details on how the goldenrods work and some of their advantages in this type of installation. I find they're going to be just about perfect for the plane we're building today.